you've been going around peddling the movie at festivals. Yeah, and lots of peddling. Has, uh, I have to ask, do you, John Waters is known to go to lots of film festivals. Have you shown him the movie? Has well, he seen the movie? Do you Are know you what? Try? We, oh, it's our desperate hope for John Waters <laughs> to see the movie. Um, and we premiered internationally at this incredible fe- festival in Switzerland called the Carno. And they were doing, uh, in, like basically a retrospective of his work yes like, o- or like honoring him and and i think that's one of the reasons our movie got chosen to play there it was this incredible venue we it screened in front of eight thousand people in the largest outdoor screening in the world i think they call it um and it, so we, we were just like all set to meet john waters and we were like this is going to happen and then we were programmed the first weekend and he was there the second weekend so it didn't bullshit happen. i know i know but um, yes, we just, we so ad- admire his work, of course, and particularly we talk about we we love that he's able to satirize these characters and this very specific place, which is where he grew up, similarly to us, and but he does it with such respect for those people in the community and such passion and i feel like they're you it, love the egg lady and pink flamingos yes, you like love you that. love the egg lady yes and it's true with humor there's like when when you can actually satirize something in a way that is grounded in reality there's a, and when you're from that community you feel so known and you feel like that that type of world is so known. And so uh, he was a big inspiration to us in terms of like, we we want to make sure that we're laughing with the people from, you know, like where we grew up and not at a specific thing. 